237. We have the UFC Strawweight Championship on the line. We have Rose Nami Yunus taking on Jessica Andrade. I want to take a look at the tell of the tapes here. We see that Jessica Andrade has more experience with a record of 19 and 6. Rose only has a record of 8 and 3, so she doesn't have too many fights. But she does have the reach advantage and the height advantage going into here, which stands out to me tremendously. Um, we've seen Jessica have tough times with the longer rangier fighters, such as Joanna, who beat her in a title fight. Um, I think if Rose could take a play out of Joanna's book here, stay out on the range, you know, stay a distance, land the jab, pick her shots, pick Jessica apart. She should win this fight. So therefore, I want to go with Rose here. But Jessica, you know, like I said, has more experience. She has more fights. She has ways to win in this fight. You know, she's very powerful, has a good takedown, um, which is very strong. But I think that the reach and the footwork of Rose will play a big role in her victory. Um, so we want to go with Rose getting it done here. Um, as we move into the UFC co-main event, got Anderson Silva, the spider, the former champ, taking on Jared Cannonier here. You know, um, Anderson's coming off a loss. He's 44 years old. He's up there in age. You know, he's a real veteran, man. I mean, Israel put it on him, but, you know, for a 44-year-old man, he didn't look bad. I mean, striking was still clean and crisp. He still had his speed. Um, I think Anderson should be able to win this fight. You know, Cannoneer is a tough guy. He's coming off a big win over David Branch, man. I mean, a World Series of fighting two-way class champ, which is now known as the PFL, the Professional Fight League. So um, I know his he's riding a big momentum wave right now. Um, you know he's believing in himself, and I'm pretty sure his camp is also. You know, so to take out a guy like David Branch isn't easy. You know, even though um, he lost to Dominic Reyes, and also holds losses to Glover Teixeira, Sean Jordan, and um, Jan Blockowicz. So. That shows that, you know, he's losing. This is not the best competition. And Anderson, he's only fought the top tier guys. It's pretty much his whole career. Um, so with that being said, I got to go with Spider getting it done. As we move into the UFC featherweight division, we got Junior Jose Aldo taking on the great Alexander Volkanovsky here. I like Aldo getting it done, man. The experience is coming off a big win over Moicano. Also, Jeremy Stevens, when Jeremy Stevens was knocking people's head off. And, I mean, people were scared of Jeremy Stevens, but Aldo got him out of there in one round. Um, Alexander, I mean, the dude got bombs in his hands, man. I mean, he put fucking Chad Mendes away, dude. You know what I mean? And uh, he put it on Darren Elkins also. So, I mean, this guy's no joke. He's on a big fucking win streak. I mean, <clears throat> they just say this is going to be a very tough fight, very excited fight. I don't want to watch. But I got to go with Junior, Jose Aldo, getting it done. As we move into the UFC welterweight division, we got the return of the veteran, the pit bull. The people who are always looking for a fight, Tiago Alves taking on the Argentinian fighter who's 81. We got Star Poli getting it done here in Brazil. But I got to go with the Pitbull getting it done, man. I just think him coming off a big win over Max Griffin, it was a very tough fight. Some people scored it for Max, but um, I just think the experience play a role here. We've seen, uh, you know, Star Poli make his debut on the fight card with Neil Magny to go on Santiago Ponzinibbio. But, you know, I don't think he's fought the level of competition Tiago's fight. 
fighting and um you know he's gonna be fighting in Brazil in his own backyard. So I think he's gonna be really hungry for this win here. He wants to get the win in front of his hometown crowd. I gotta go Tiago Alves getting it done. Francisco Trinado taking on Diego Ferreira and a lightweight showdown. One thing that stands out to me is the age of Francisco here, man. 40 years old. Um, just coming off of a win. Diego Ferreira's on a big 4 or 5 win streak. We've seen him travel all the way down to Russia, go to enemy territory, and get the job done. So that just shows how tough, you know, Diego is, man. Um, he beat uh, Kabilov. Beat Kyle Nelson, who just competed on the Canada card, and beat Jaron Gordon in OAM. So he goes wins over tough guys, man, especially on a four or five win streak. Um, Trinado is coming off a big KO to uh, Evan Dunham. Nice knee to the body. Um, but I just think, you know, has a lot of miles on him. Um, and he hasn't been active. That's another thing, you know. Diego's been active, dude. So I want to go with more the active fighter. Um, Diego getting it done. As we move into the UFC light heavyweight division, we got Nogueira taking on Ryan Span. Superman. Um, I like Ryan Span here getting it done, dude. Uh, the things that stand out to me in this fight, of course, is the reach of Brian Spain. He's a long, lanky dude, and um, 81 reach to Nogueira, 75. Um, he's a six foot five dude. He's very tall. Um, as you see, Nogueira's 42 years old, man. He's an old dude, um, but he's still getting the job done. You know, we've seen him beat Sam Alvey. Um, so you know, he's off of a win. Um, Back in September 2018, um, Ryan Spann, we seen him compete, and he looked good in his last fight when uh, he beat Luis Enrique. I mean, he just picked that dude apart using his range, his size, and a nice solid jab. Um, I like Ryan Spann getting it done here. Um, as we move into the UFC uh, lightweight division. We got Tiago Moises taking on Kurt here. Uh, I like Tiago to get it done, even though he's coming off a loss. Curry's on a two-five losing streak. Um, seen him get subbed by Armbar um, by Shane Burgos. Um, I mean, Kurt's a tough guy, but somehow he always ends up losing. He also got KO by Barcelos, who's going to be fighting on this card also. Uh, he had a fight that turned to no contest against Matt uh, But I think Tiago should be able to get it done. So we're going to go Tiago here. Um, as we move into the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division, Beth Cohea, the pit bull, taking on Irene here. Aldana. I like Aldana to win this fight here. Um, not too much to talk about, you know. Beth Cohe is coming off of a loss. Um, her stand-up never really improved, in my opinion. Uh, she has a solid grappling game. But, you know, overall, you know, she's not active. She hasn't fought since 2017 since that vicious head kick KO from Holly Holm. So who knows how she recovered from that head kick. And uh, I think Aldana should be able to get it done. So uh, as we move into the UFC late lead division a fight that I'm so stoked for. We got the Carpenter taking on the prodigy BJ Penn. I got to go with Clay Guida getting it done here, dude. I mean, look at the record. Of the BJ Penn here, man. Look at all the losses he's been having, dude. I mean, he's up there in age. He's 40. I mean, he's three years older than Guida. But, I mean, fuck, BJ hasn't been looking good. I mean, dude, 
He lost to Dennis Seaver in a fight that I actually thought he could have a chance to finally look good against, you know, somebody they put him up against, and he let me down. He lost to Ryan Hall by submission in round one. Got KO'd by Ayer, KO'd by Frankie. I mean, the dude's just got too much miles, and he's been fighting top competition every time, man. I just think that Guida should be able to get it done. I mean, he got more experience. He's a younger fighter. His fucking cardio is crazy. I mean, the guy never gets tired. Um, even though he lost to Charles Oliveira, he looked good against Joe Lozon when he TKO'd him in round one. He looked good against Eric Coach also. So um, we got to go with my boy Clay, the Carpenter Clay, the getting it done. Um, I want to talk about the welterweight fight, Sergio Morris taking on Riley Alves. Um, <clears throat> I like Sergio getting it done here, man. I think uh, the grappling and the submission uh, background that he has play a big role in winning a fight against Alves here. Um, even though Sergio is coming off a tough loss to Anthony Martin, uh, he did look good. He still beat Tim Means. Guys like Ben Saunders. I um, think that always, you know, in the first round, he always looks pretty good, but he tends to slow down. His grappling isn't the best. Um, gives down a lot of takedowns. He's coming off a loss to James Krause. He's being su- subbed by Sultan Ali. Um, you know, Got out grinded by Brian Barbarina and uh, also Usman. I think um, Sergio should be able to win this fight, get it down on the ground, and maybe edge out the decision. Um, Alves is the better striker by far, the younger fighter. Um, but I think Sergio should be able to get it down on the mat. Um, as we move in, this preliminary card, Bantamway fight, Barsolas taking on Carlos here. Um, I gotta go with Barsolas getting it done here, man. Um, just think he's a better fighter, straight up, you know. And the dude hits hard. We've seen him knock out Kurt viciously, who's fighting on this card. Um, you know. Uh, we haven't seen too much from this fighter from Peru, Carlos, here. We know that, um, you know, I think, yeah, he's making his debut in the UFC here. So, um, you know, that's a tough fight to take on it on your debut in a guy's own country, you know. So we got to go with our Soles getting it done. As we move into... Oh, yeah, so these two women fights, man, that I was having trouble with picking, you know. I'm just going to do my best picking this fight here. Um, We got Moana here taking on Priscilla. Um, Both of these fighters from Brazil. Um... Very tough fight to pick here because, you know, we haven't seen too much of them and I'm not really a big fan of women MMA. So um, we know Priscilla filed Molly McMahon, came up short, also came up to Valentina. Um, so, you know, she has two losses in the UFC already. Um able to get the job done in the UFC. Um, she's taking on a girl who's um, fought on the Dana White Contender Series um, where she got a decision done. So um, I want to go with the Dana White Contender Series fighter getting it done here. So we're going to go Luana getting it done. Um in the other women's fight, we have Bernardo um, taking on Melissa here. So, I know that um, 
Bernardo holds a big win over Sarah with the cheesecake. Morales, Morales, I meant. So, um, you know, I just got to go with Bernardo getting it done. If I had money on the line, I have to go with Bernardo getting it done. So, yeah, those are my picks right there for um, UFC 237. Yeah. So tell me what you think about the picks. Uh, let me know your picks. Thanks for watching. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh.